Hey guys, my name is Seth, and this and I'm from the Comic Gamer Movie Show, and this is going to be a start on our first independent opinion videos on games and movies. Now Deshaun is off doing research on movies he would like to talk about, so while he's doing that, I want to talk about a game I saw on E3, while well, I adjust myself, um, at E3 called Total War Warhammer. Now I'm a huge fan of the Warhammer series, both 40k and fantasy. Even though I don't know that much about fantasy, I do know a lot about 40k and I did a lot of research. So Total War Warhammer is an, uh, an answer from God, in my opinion, because I like was like, dear God, like this is like, I was like praying, I was like, please, a Total War Warhammer game, something, 40k, or I don't know how they would do that in 40k, but or fantasy, something. And finally, my prayers have been answered, uh, F Total War Warhammer is coming out, I don't know when it's coming out, I, I can't tell you the exact date, but the gameplay on it is very very unbalanced at the moment right now. You got flying dragons, you got ogre, giant ogres, and uh, you got spells you can use. You can call down gods and all that other stuff. Um, this is the one thing that I have a huge issue with right now. Uh, Creative Assembly released two games um, a couple years ago. Uh, Total War 2, Rome 2 and Total War Attila. And Total War Rome 2 was a disaster. I don't know what the hell happened um, with that one. That really made me mad. And I, uh, even though I still play Rome 2 a little bit with mods, I do play with mods to kind of fix a lot what Total War kind of screwed up a bit. Total, I never played Attila, but I heard that it was a lot better, a lot better than Rome 2. And and I don't know. I'm really hoping that Creative Assembly had learned their lesson from Rome 2, and they. And they fixed the AI, they fixed unit clumping, and hopefully the unit balancing will be spot on. But like I said, I'm not holding my breath at all. I hope that they will fix their issues, and I hope that they will fix their problem. That's really not much more to say about Total War or Warhammer. It is a epic game, but if you don't know anything about the older Warhammer games, there was... The older Warhammer, I mean, to older Total War games, they were all centered around historical periods of time of war, set like like medieval Japan, uh, Rome, the medieval times in Europe, and now with Total War Attila, the Dark Ages, so to speak. Um, they are basically the Dark Ages, the fall of the Roman Empire, and all that other stuff. Um, if you don't know much about the fantasy universe, once we um, put links in the descriptions of these videos, I'll take you to sites and people that will tell you a lot about the fantasy universe, because this is what this game will be centered off, Warhammer Fantasy. Uh, Warhammer Fantasy is a vast place that is filled with a ton of lore and a ton of background to it that is just amazing to, 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 uh, to think about. But now I'm going to talk about the um, the factions. There is the Empire, is the main key faction obviously because they're the Empire. There are the Vampire Counts, the Dwarves, the Orcs or Greenskins. They are Britonia or Britannia, uh, like sort of like the, the like the knightly groups. They're the Skaven, and there's a couple more that I really that that, skip, that slipped my mind. And each one of these factions are unique in their own ways. None of them are feel the same. None of them feel like they're repeating of other factions. There's so many different races, like like the races of chaos and the ogres that eat infinitely because they have a huge hunger and they worship this gaping maw that's in the ground as their as the great maw. It's their basically their god. The empire is a faction that's centered around you know um, I guess 1400 era technology from our time. Because they have muskets, they have rifles, and they have, like, like even the armor looks about, like, you know, the 1400s. And, um, and each one of these factions are unique. The Empire is in the center of the map. They're the most, one of the most powerful factions. They're, uh, and then there's Bretonia. They're the knightly factions run by a king. And they're all feudal knights wearing the feudal type armor, and they have that sort of chivalry mentality. The Skaven are dark rat-like, I guess, um you know, rat soldiers that don't trust one another, and they're very, very, I don't know how to say, disgusting, I guess you can kind of say. I really don't know much about them. The dwarves are, you know, very cultural, but also very territorial and very isolationist because they live in the mountains. So it's hard to, so it would be kind of hard to balance that. I guess maybe the dwarves can only conquer mountain areas, and they can build mountain citadels and all that other stuff. 
But, you know, they can't conquer ground territory. They have to go off and raid or something. That would be kind of hard to balance. And then there's the Greenskins. You know, they, they are completely unorganized. Who knows? I guess they're going to be like the horde of, um, of Warhammer. And then there will be... What's another one? There's a few other factions. I'll put links in the description that take you to each one of these factions. I don't know all the fantasy factions. I'm more of a 40... I like Warhammer 40K. I've been playing the 40K games, both tabletop and computer games, for so long. I know more about the 40K universe than I do about um, than about the fantasy universe. And you want to learn more about the 40K universe, I'll have a link in the description once you figure out how to do that, to a guy known as the Vaults of Terra. He has been making these videos now for a couple of years now, and he you know goes into great depth and detail about the Warhammer 40K lore. But there are some other channels that go into the fantasy lore as well. So I will have uh, links in the description for those certain sites and certain YouTubers that do that, just you know, give you an idea of um, of the lores that I like. But anyway, guys, that is basically all there is about Warhammer Total War Warhammer. It is I cannot wait to play it. And the next time I'm by myself without Deshaun in the room, I will be talking about the next installment, No Man's Sky. So anyway, guys, I will see you on the next Comic Gamer Movie Show. This has been Seth. I'm signing off. Bye bye.